हेलो गाइस अगेन यू आर वेलकम टू माय चैनल लिटरेचर क्लासेस दिस इज अभिलाषा गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ पोम बाय कमला दास दैट इज समर इन कैलकटा द पोम इज रिटन इन द सेम सॉरी इट वाज पब्लिश्ड इन द सेम कलेक्शन समर इन कैलकटा सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ टाइटल पीस ऑफ द कलेक्शन और यू कैन से एंथोलॉजी दैट वॉज पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन so guys so guys before explaining the poem i would like to tell you something about kamla das also so kamla das is an indian poet she was born in malabar in 1934 she belongs to kerala and uh, she her pen name was madhvi kutti and before her marriage she uh, also has a name kamla suraya so and she wrote many poems for example an introduction dance of eunuchs in love the freaks um summer in calcutta my grandmother's house and many more poems she also wrote autobiography autobiographies and short stories she won the sahitya academy award in 1985 she won the sahitya academy award in 1985 for her volume collected poems she got married at her early age with a bank officer with a uh, bank officer i think madhav das she was uh, she was died in 2009 she was died in 2009 and पुणे महाराष्ट्र एंड शी वॉज बरीड इन पालम जामा मस्जिद तिरुवनंतपुर सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द पोम द पोम इज समर इन कैलकटा समर इन कैलकटा इज अ टाइटल पीस ऑफ द वॉल्यूम एंड दिस वॉल्यूम वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द थीम ऑफ द पोम सो द थीम इज एक्चुअली द टेम्परेरी temporary tramp over the defeat of love the poem begins with a rhetorical question what is this drink what is this drink actually this w is capital not small so what is this drink the uh, the poem begins with this and she also she begins the poem by questioning and she also answers in the same poem so the poem is actually expressing the sexual note or you can say physical desires or unquenched desires the poem is indirectly an attack on patriarchal society as she refers to this to the drink which she drinks and that, that is made for male especially the poem is one of those poems of kamla das in which she not only reminisces the summer spent in calcutta as she uh, gave the title of the poem but she also compares with the summer left within a bodily or we can say physical desire in her life it is not the summer of calcutta but it is the summer feeling of kamla her summer is one of the bodily summer in which the protagonist act abnormally and she is going after the sun she is madly going after the sun it seems that this season of summer is her favorite season now i am going to explain line wise line what is this drink but the april sun squeezed like an orange in my glass what is this drink she is asking a rhetorical question actually she is she believes that the drink is made for males not for females so she is asking what is this drink she inquires about this drink it is the glass of juice she is going to take which is but the april summer summer sun squeezed like an orange it was like we uh, whenever we drink anything that time 
if we want to pour anything in our glass so like an orange when we uh, when a, an orange is squeezed that time the juice comes out and it is poured in glass so this is the imagery she has given an imagery of the orange juice and she is comparing this orange juice to april sun the april sun means a sunny day a month of april and in the april month what the summer uh, what the sunny day is she is uh, enjoying this sunny day and she is comparing it to uh, it into a juice like an orange juice so what is this drink but the april sun it is a drink of april sun it is like an orange juice i sip the fire i drink and drink again i sip the fire means now she is saying that since she is uh, drinking a juice which is made of april sun so the, uh, this is this is called fire i sip the fire i drink and drink again i am drunk yes but on the gold of suns i drink and drink again means she is drinking and drinking again she is sipping the, that fire she is she is tasting that fire and i drink and drink my means she is drinking and drinking now her thirst is not quenched so she, that is why she is drinking again and again now she is intoxicated i am drunk drunk means intoxicated वो इस समय क्या है पूरी तरीके से नशे में हो गई हैं वो कह रही हैं कि वो क्या कर रही हैं एक अप्रैल जूस अप्रैल के मंथ में जो सन है उस सन का उस धूप का वो इन्जॉय कर रही हैं और उस एंजॉय करने में उन्हें ऐसी फीलिंग्स आ रही हैं शी इज़ फीलिंग दैट शी इज़ सिपिंग शी इज़ एन्जॉइंग एन ऑरेंज जूस और वी कैन से द जूस ऑफ अप्रैल सन I am drunk yes but on the gold of suns I am drunk yes it is true that I am drunk now I am intoxicated but uh, uh, why intoxicated from which thing I am intoxicated so that is called that is april juice not the alcohol not anything which is uh, drink by the other person by the uh, especially she is uh, indirectly attacking on the males so but on the gold of suns this is the this is the drink which she is trying to sip what noble venom now flows through my veins and fills my mind with unhurried laughter now what she is saying she is saying that what noble venom means venom means poison now flows it is spreading the now after drinking this uh, summer juice now she is intoxicated now this uh, venom this poison is spreading throughout her body my veins it is going uh, it is uh, spreading through my body and fills my mind and it is uh, it is also filled in my mind with unhurried laughter whenever we see any drink person or any uh, intoxicated person that time we see that they uh, they start to laugh and they are laughing and laughing again so the same situation she is comparing to herself and she is saying that now uh, her her body is filled with this intoxication with her body is filled with this uh, summer juice this fire so uh, uh, this is the unquenched fire this is the uh, actually she is Uh, referring to the physical desire which is unquenched which is not uh, satisfied so uh, uh, her desires are now coming out in this summer season when she is enjoying this day that time this uh, uh, this unsatisfied love this unsatisfied desires are coming out and it is in the form of laughter so she is laughing and laughing again and why she is laughing and laughing again because this uh, this intoxication has came into her mind into her body in whole body that is why she is again and again uh, laughing my worries rose we bubbles ring my glass like a bright's nervous smile and meet my lips now she is saying that 
the intoxication is too much that is why she uh, she has uh, lost in in this uh, pleasure that she uh, has uh, she has now forget her worries her tensions her problems now she has lost in this in this pleasurable life in this pleasurable pleasurable moment that she has uh, forget all the things वो क्या है इस समय उनको इतना ज़्यादा नशा हो गया है उस धूप का उस धूप का इतना अच्छा आनंद ले रही हैं कि उनकी पूरी बॉडी में वो जो आनंद है जो खुशी है वो पूरे तरीके से उनके माइंड में उनकी बॉडी में वो क्या हो गई है पूरी तरीके से उसने ओवर पावर कर लिया है दैट इज़ वाई उनकी जो टेंशन है उनकी प्रॉब्लम्स है सब क्या है उनका एकदम वो भूल चुकी हैं वी बबल्स रिंग माई ग्लास वी बबल्स रिंग एंड नाउ माई ग्लास is uh, filled and now uh, the bubbles are coming out and it seems like a bright's nervous smile and uh, she compares it with a bright's nervous smile when a bright uh, when a newly bride come and she smiles coyly she smiles very softly very gently so that smile is uh, like a bubble and meet my lips now her th this drink is uh, meeting to her lips means she is drinking this she is um, enjoying it a lot and this intoxication overpowered her dear forgive this moment's lull in wanting this is not waiting sorry uh, it is uh, typed wrong it is wanting this moment lull in wanting you the blur in memory dear now she is addressing this dear to her husband forgive this moments actually this in in this indian scenario the wives are very loyal wives are very honest to her as to their husbands so now she is uh, she is feeling sorry she is feeling um disheartened or we can say she uh, she is feeling that she has done some mistake so she is also apologizing for that and she is saying that i forget you also means I, she has forgotten her husband also her husband's pleasure her husband's whatever she has what whatever things he she has received from him she has forg forgotten that because this was the this moment is much happy moment for her too much happy moment for her that is why she has forgotten that thing she has forgotten her husband also the blur in memory now it is now it is blur in memory brief the term of my de devotion how brief your reign when i with in a uh, glass in hand drink drink and drink again this juice of april suns now what she is uh, trying to say here all these these tensions all these worries all the problems in her life all these things vanished now she is totally in an intoxicated position now it she is totally enjoying this summer season uh, the summer day or we can say sunny day that she is feeling that it is overpowered her memory and all the things are blurred my brief the term of how brief the term of my devotion means how short it was uh, how short the devotion was how brief your reign when i with glass in hand how brief your reign means now she is addressing she is saying that uh, to uh, to her, her husband that how brief your reign means you have ruled very for a very short period of time means you have not given so much love so much affection so much uh, i can say the desires you have not you were not able to fulfill that is why it was uh, rain for a short period of time you uh, that was the very short period that that is why she has lost that devotion that power that love that affection when i with glass in hand when i am uh, with a glass in hand means when i am having this glass of drink that time i have lost everything your rule your power also why because it is more good it is more uh, it is more happy 
moment for me than yours whatever you have given it is more good it is more better than you have given when i with class in hand when i am having this class in my hand that time this power this love this rule which you have uh, which you have uh, given me or we can say you have ruled a very uh, for a very short period of time that is why i lost this i have forgotten this i with in uh, <clears throat> drink drink and drink again this juice of april suns drink drink means i am drinking and drinking again but not i am not able to quench this thirst this a juice of april sins means she is again and again telling us that she is drinking this april uh, juice of april suns वो बार बार इस बार बार ये बताने की कोशिश कर रही हैं कि वो जो वो जो उनका शासन था उनके फैमिली का या उनके हस्बैंड का वो इतना कम था इतना रूल उन्होंने कम कर पाया कि वो सारी चीज़ें वो इस उस समय भूल गई हैं और पूरी तरीके से वो धूप का आनंद ले रही हैं या वो उस सनी डे का आनंद ले रही हैं जिसमें वो सब कुछ भूल गई और उनकी जो डिज़ायर्स हैं उनकी जो फिजिकल सेक्शुअल डिज़ायर्स हैं वो क्या हो रही हैं वो बाहर आ रही हैं वो कमआउट कर रही हैं एंड वो बार बार उस ड्रिंक को पी रही है लेकिन फिर भी उनकी जो थर्स्ट है वो नहीं बुझ रही है उनकी जो प्यास है वो नहीं बुझ रही है जूस ऑफ अप्रैल सन्स और ये कौन सा जूस पी रही है अप्रैल सन्स का जूस पी रही है सो दिस पोम समर इन कैलकाटा एक्चुअली डिस्क्राइब्स हर थर्स्ट ऑफ लव हर थर्स्ट ऑफ फिजिकल डिजायर्स वी कैन से what uh, sensual desires sexual desires physical desires whatever you call, can call as call it so this poem is wholly and heartily um, filled with this and she is enjoying it she is uh, that is why she is enjoying it a lot this april sun this april uh, sun's moment she is enjoying a lot this moment so this is the poem summer in calcutta by kamla das i hope the explanation will be fruitful to you still you have any queries or doubts in your mind you can put it in the comment section below i will definitely answer your question thank you for watching